Standard 7th Subject Maths Chapter 1 Geometrical Constructions Practice Set 6 Dear students, let us learn now about congruence of segments. Activity Take a rectangular paper. Place two opposite sides one upon the other. They coincide exactly. So when you fold the paper for craft work, you have seen that the two ed opposite edges of a rectangular paper fall one above the other exactly. That means they coincide. So opposite sides of the rectangular paper coincide and hence are congruent. Using the ruler, measure the lengths of seg AB and seg PQ. This activity is for you in your textbook on page number 7. So you can use a scale, a ruler and measure the lengths of seg AB here and also of seg PQ. And you will write down the measurements of length AB and length PQ in your textbook. You will see that length AB is 4 cm and length PQ is also 4 cm. Since the length of two segments is the same, if placed one above the other, they will coincide. We can infer from this that if two line segments have the same lengths, they coincide exactly with each other. That is, they are congruent. If seg AB and seg PQ are congruent, it is written as seg AB congruent to seg PQ. So, this is the sign of congruence. So, now you know, if given line segments are equal in length, they are congruent. From the shape below, write the names of the pairs of congruent line segments. It's in your textbook on page number 8. So, by looking at the figure, you will come to know that seg AB, AB here, is congruent to seg DC. Opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. They are congruent. They can coincide exactly with each other. So, this is a cuboid. Seg A, let's look at seg A, it's here. Seg A is congruent to seg BH. So, seg BH is here. This is seg BH. Next, we have to write down the answer. Seg EF. So, let's look at seg EF. EF is at the bottom here. Is congruent to, yes, you can say seg HG. And seg df, which is here, is congruent to seg cg. But is df congruent only to cg? There are two more sides to which seg df is congruent. Yes, seg a and seg bh. So, let's see the solution. Seg ef, which we have to write congruent. So, I mentioned to you earlier, seg ef is congruent to seg hg or ad so you can take any one to write in your textbook ad or bc or seg hg since all four are congruent it's shown here in the solution next seg df so seg df as i told you is congruent to seg cg you can write in your textbook congruent to seg cg also it is congruent to seg e and also congruent to seg bh. So, this way we can write the names of the pairs of congruent line segments. So, now let us begin with our practice set 6. Question number 1. Write the names of pairs of congruent line segments. Use a divider to find them. Okay, so you, you we don't have to use a scale with a divider which has got pointer on both ends. We will use a divider from your compass box to measure and then accordingly we will write the solution. Four answers are already given here of congruent line segments. Let's have a look at how we can measure it. So in your textbook on page 8, you have practice at 6. In the divider, we measure GM and then from G, we measure GR. It's exactly the same. 
so without shifting the distance if we get same we mark that gm is same as gr and we write sec gm congruent or mg one and the same congruent to sec gr sec mg congruent to sec gr okay a segment can be read as from any end mg or gm now i see that mg and mg is also congruent so i will write mark the sign of congruence that even this one is equal so seg mg and we put the symbol of congruence is congruent to seg ng so this way we have got first two answers now third one let's check with the other segment seg gc will check so gc is little longer so we extend the divider and we see which one is matching gr is not matching but yes gh is perfectly matching gb so gb i will mark two lines along with gr along with gc so we write say gc is congruent see the congruence symbol to say gb see the third answer seg gc is congruent to seg gb now which ones are left let's see seg ge which is left is it congruent to any other side so seg ge we take in the divider adjust the divider such that you take the end points perfectly and check with whom it will match is it matching with gr yes ge is matching with gr perfectly equal distance so we can say that we can mark here with a single line because gr is also marked with a single line to show that they are equal and write down seg ge is congruent to seg gr so this way you will get many pairs of congruent sides here whichever you feel you can write the correct answers from the given segments you can choose your segments you can match them and write so you will see that seg ng your ng okay is also equal to seg mg which is also equal to seg ge and it is also equal to seg gr that means four are equal in length so you can form any pairs so this question has got multiple answers you are supposed to write any four congruent pairs of sides now let's move on to question number 2 question number 2 on the line below the distance between any two adjoining points shown on its equal so on the line below the distance between any two adjoining points shown on it is equal that means between q and p there is equal distance between p and z z and y so equal distance so hence we have to fill in the blanks seg ab is congruent to which segment so we see seg ab is here ab so from a to b only two points are covered so you can take again this question has got multiple answers you can take any two points y x x w any two points so let's have a look at the answer seg ab is here on the number line and now we have to choose its congruent so let's take wa which is just next to e so we will write seg ab is congruent to seg wa now seg ap let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 six points have to be covered so we can start from say y 1 2 3 4 5 6 yc so sec ap we can write congruent to sec yc so we can check with the divider let's check ap is so much is yc the same yes that means since they are at equal distance from each other we can take as many points now ac ac comprises three points from a to c so from p to y we can take py so this way we can complete our congruence any three you can take 
now b y seg b y check seg b y b two y how many points one two three four five points are covered so take any letter and cover five points see where you reach one two three four five so from p to w p w so i'll write seg p w is congruent to seg b y okay so we have to match that many points as many in the question y q y q is how many points let's check one two three four four points are covered so let's mark from y to other side four points one two three four y a so we can say seg y a is congruent to seg y q so let me check once with the divider y q is this much now i want to check y a so i will keep on y and see exactly as much as y q is seg y a now b w b to w is three points one two three so where do we start from choose any point say z and we count towards the left one two three so z q i will write seg b w is congruent to seg z q so this way we have completed our question number two and also a practice set 6 so students hope you have understood this practice set well do solve the sums in your notebook for a better understanding stay safe keep learning and thank you